All right, guys, we are on lockdown right now. It is coronavirus, COVID-19 lockdown of the entire world. We're all on quarantine, and this is a cool shirt. You can sell it online. You can sell it in the street. Well, you can't really sell it in the street because we're on lockdown, unless you have on a mask and gloves or something like that. Anyway, quarantine and chill, and I'm going to show you how I did it. This is a Adobe Illustrator t-shirt design tutorial. Let's get it. What's up guys, Gary Edgene and we are going to have some fun today. Okay, let's get into it. First things first. You see this right here? This is going to be our little muse right here. We're going to make something as I showed you guys previously, and it's going to look a little something, something like this. Okay. Now, from what I understand, this looks very much like something called Bebus, Bebus font. Okay. Now, fonts are really important when it comes to t-shirt design. So let me take you to this site. This site is going to be your best friend, defont.com, all right? I mean, so many fonts, it's amazing. But you go right here, you put in Bebus. Uh, it's a popular font. And looky, 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 all right? You simply go in and you download that and you install it to your system. I already have it. And we're gonna go right here to our type tool, the T, all right? Let's pull this down. See that T right there? Bam, we'll type it out. Quarantine, let me see, did I spell that right? And, and guys, I'm dyslexic. I don't know if you guys knew that. I'm gonna do a video on that. So I will jack the spelling of something up. All right, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go and I'm going to check this spelling. Okay, quarantine. All right, so I spelled it correctly. That's the definition right there, quarantine. Okay, we'll go right here. I'm going to make this Beavis. And we're done. That's it. Have a good night. Just kidding, guys. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Quarantine. And chill, isn't that special? All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull this off to the side because I might have to come back to that, okay? Because I'm gonna be dest destructive right now. So I'm gonna go right here and we're gonna click expand. This comes up, okay. All right. I'm gonna ungroup it. over to the center and this over here and we're done no so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to take this and turn it you see how this has this little arc in it we, we're going to do that but first thing i'm going to do is you can see this is kind of long this is kind of elongated so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just take this and raise it up okay that's good right there so now we're going to take this we're going to pull it to the side, okay? Because I might have to come back to that because I'm going to do some crazy stuff over here. So we're going to grab this one and we're going to go to object. We're going to go down to envelope to store and we're going to do that with what? We're going to do it the easy, oh, the easy way. And you see all type of stuff over here. So you're going to take this and we're going to go to arc lower, okay? And we're going to take this one right here, the bend, and we're going to take it over. Is that good? I think that might be good right there. We do want to go a little bit more. Oh, no, that's fine. All right, and we're done. Good night. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so now we're going to take that one because I may want to come back to that. So we're going to take that and we're going to pull it to the side. This is just how I work. You do whatever you want to do. All right, so now we're going to take this. All right, and we're going to expand. And what that does is just makes it real thing. You can get rid of all this other little stuff in here. So we're gonna expand. Beautiful, now we're gonna take that 
and we're going to put it right there. Uh, all right. Now, the difference between this and this is you have the drop shadow and all this old good stuff right here. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take this once again. And if you look, the one big difference is that the spacing. You're going to see like right here, this is kind of close together and this is spaced apart. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take that. We're going to ungroup it. I'm going to take this, man. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go like eight stops between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You just want to express this out. Now, I'm going to do this. My Well, actually, I'll just speed it up. Okay, we're just going to stop right here. And I'm going to tell you guys to go to t-shirtdesignschool.com, all right? I want you to go down in the description box, and I want you to sign up to get the t-shirt design starter pack to sign up and subscribe and you get so much great stuff you're going to get some t-shirt templates all right you're going to get classic artwork that you can use you're going to get retro logos t-shirt graphics all right you're going to get fonts that you can use okay to use all of this stuff you're going to get distress patterns i'm even going to throw in some brushes Okay, and a little clip art, some stock art and clip art. So just sign up for the T-shirt design starter pack and make it happen, Captain. Now let's get back into this video, shall we? All right, so we're gonna take this, and that's not quite centered. We're gonna move that over. There are ways that you can mathematically center this stuff, but I like doing it by eye. It's just this is how I roll. Okay, all right, we're gonna raise this up some, just a little bit, all right. Almost there, almost there. So now we're gonna take this once again, we're gonna make another copy. All right, we're gonna take this, and where's our swatches at? Where's my swatches? Where's my swatches? Bam, that's white. So now we're gonna take this, I'm going to put this right underneath. And we're done. Look at that. No, not quite. The difference is a couple of things. Let's get in here. We're going to add an outline or a stroke around this. We'll add a little bit to that stroke. All right. Now, technically, you can do it like this. Okay. If we put a red background behind it. You could sell this into the average eye. No one would know. This is like, this is it. This is off the chain right here. The difference is, guys, when you design, it's the, if you, especially if you're doing like mimicking something, it's the little things. All right. And if you could see, you see that right there? You see this and you see that? That is like a, that looks three dimensional and that looks like a shadow, meaning this looks like it's separate and this looks like it's all one thing. So you're gonna have to go in, all right? So let's go in. You're gonna have to make this bad boy look like the real thing. So how do you do that? We're gonna go right here and you can see right here, you're gonna to have to do a process of playing with these anchor points. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and I'm only gonna do this on one and then I'm just gonna do it because I don't want the video to be a long time, okay? So you go right here on the this back one right here and you see you add an anchor point and you go right here and you add an anchor point, okay? Now, you could just take that, grab the both of those with your direct selector, and just go up. Okay, now you see how those go up, right? 
and it be you begin to get that 3D look like this. But what's the problem right here? What's the problem right here? The problem is this is all wavy, you know? That's because your anchor point still has these little, uh, I forgot the name of these things, but it's the things where you can take and you can start to make shapes with them. And you don't want that. You want these to be like straight angles, you know? You don't want any curves. So you want to go right here to this one, anchor point tool, and you want to click on those and make, you see how, see how it gets rid of all the curve right there and now you just want to take that and I'm doing two at the same time you see that look at that look at how beautiful that is that works you see that how you get that look right there all right I'm gonna do it right here to a little something something but this one is a little bit trickier so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one for right now and you do that for all the rest of these I'm gonna do one more Right, you go right here. And how you get to this is right in here. You can click and hold that, and then you can take that and make it show up. Now it disappeared, but right here. You're at that anchor point. Bam, right there. You go down here. Add it right here. And add it right here. Okay, the next thing you do is go right here. You click on that anchor point, click on that anchor point so that you don't have any curves. Click on that one, click on that one, click on that one, click on that one. You take them, use your direct selector tool, which is right up in here. And you go right here, bam, and you just move it. Look at that. You see the difference between how these look and how those look? So I'm going to do that for all the rest of these. I don't want to bore you with the details. I'll show you how to do it. Let's go right in and let's make it happen. And there you have it. Just like that, it is done. All right quarantine and chill i like the way this one came out all right so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna take it and we're gonna put it on top of a t-shirt smack it up flip it rub it down sell it man look guys all you guys be safe all right it's just crazy out here stay home Wash your hands, and most importantly, do not touch your mouth, nose, or your eyes. Don't touch your face without unclean hands. Um, that's it. God bless. Gary Ejene, and I am out.